Welcome everyone, bienvenidos to my channel, Love Queen of Wands. Today we're doing a true crime reading for four-year-old boy, Cody Bixby. It has been over a month since Cody was reported missing. Cody was reported missing by his father, Corey, who told the police he woke up the morning of January 31st and his son was nowhere to be found. That is all I know about this case as I go into tarot. I have not read more about the case. The way I work and how I do my tarot is I like to, the least I know about the case, the better it is for me to get information. And before we get started, this is for entertainment purposes only. Everything that's being said here is alleged and nothing is proven as fact. And just a reminder that as a tarot psychic reader, I'm coming from a place of love and light and to bring awareness to the case of Cody in hopes we can bring him back home safe and sound. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna get started with the tarot reading. Let's tap in. Okay. What happened to Cody Bixby, four-year-old boy? Spirit angel guides, what happened? What happens to Cody? Spirit angel guides, what happened to Cody? What happened to Cody? Please let us know what happened to Cody. Okay. One. Two and three. Thank you, Spirit Angel Guides, for allowing us to connect with the energy of Cody Bixby. Okay. All right, so now that I've pulled the cards, let me just take one moment to connect with the cards and see what I can channel in. I'll be right back. All right, so I took a second to connect with the cards and see what I can channel in. Okay, so the first thing I see and I notice, and I always start with the center of the reading, the Ace of Pentacles. This card is an important card because it connects with all the other cards in this reading. This card is telling me that there is lack of money A miss opportunity. There is financial issues going on. And because of this financial issue, there has 
it has caused major drama, major conflict, life-threatening conflict. I don't like to see this card when I do readings. This card is a very, very dark card that lets me know a lot about what's going on just by seeing this card, the Five of Swords. This card tells me about this card tells me that this poor child was targeted. This wasn't an accident. This wasn't This feels like it's done on purpose. This is a murder card. And I'm saying that um, that the child was murdered. Could possibly be, right? But to me, this is an assault card. This is a murder card. This is a card of defeat, a card of self-sabotage, violence, crime. This is what this card means. And it stems from having financial issues having these two cards right next to each other lets me know for sure that there has been some type of sexual abuse, sexual assault involved. This is a child who has been taken advantage of. And it being next to this card, that's evil. This is evil. The Ten of Cups in reverse confirms to me that there are issues that are stemming from the house. This card talks about a broken home, divorce, conflict in the house, in the family. Again, stemming from this situation. This is bad news. This is I'm in trouble financially. And it's causing, this is causing so much problems. The Hermit card. Wanting to isolate the child. Wanting isolation. Wanting isolation, but being 
being pushed to a corner, victim, trapped. This situation was making this person trapped, a victim. It's what caused them to be isolated. This card, this is what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up like someone is saying, um, you better shut your mouth or something's gonna happen to you. Or your child. That's what I'm, I'm, that's what, that's what the word, that's what came to my mind when I see this card. I see somebody talking and threatening, saying, you better shut your mouth. Something bad's going to happen to you. Okay, now I know, so I'm getting readings, okay, so I'm getting energies from, like I'm channeling from Cody, the four-year-old boy, but I'm also channeling his father, who was the um, parental, the parental guardian that was there, who's supposed to protect and watch this child. And I definitely am picking up, it doesn't seem like he really, I'm going to be honest and I'm just going to say it. I, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but it does feel like he, doesn't, he didn't really want the child. To me, this is his energy. This is Cody's energy. This is a child who's full of life, who's playful, who's just being a four-year-old. But feeling that feeling that this child was causing a lot of stress, Right? You have the family causing a lot of stress. Could have been causing, could have been, um, had some part to do with financial issues. I definitely feel like this child was targeted because to me, this is, to me, it's like showing a man who's looking for something. Who's he looking for? He's holding a lamp. He's trying to see something. Who's he watching? He's watching two people. He's watching the victim. He's watching... He's watching this person being pushed to the corner. And he's watching the child.
this card talks about planning for something to come into fruition. Somebody was planning. Who was planning? This guy. The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, he's planning something. He's heading toward these guys. They're making something. The Knight of Wands can be impulsive. It can have a lot of, of fire that's fueling his emotions. But this Knight, this Knight is the one, look at that, connected to the Five of Swords. This Knight is the one who assaulted. Who did the kidnapping? Who did the crime? Now I want to tap into the energies because I want to clarify and get more specific into what what are they talking about okay what okay I want to start with this the ace of pentacles what about ooh. my cards just fell okay can we clarify the ace of pentacles please Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my, my heart keep going. Ace of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Very interesting. And three. Okay. It was clarified. Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Swords. Definitely somebody was doing this out of spite, out of revenge. Whatever happened to this boy was done out of out of revenge. Yeah. But why? Why? Hmm. Let's clarify <clears throat> the Five of Swords. Please clarify the Five of Swords, Spirit Angel Guides. Please clarify the Five of Swords. Please clarify the Five of Swords. Please clarify the Five of Swords. Somebody walked away. What did he walk away from? This was done. Because he walked away from something. Or he wanted to walk away from something. So 
so he committed this crime. It can go in either direction. To me, tarot, everyone's different. Every tarot reading is different. They have their own styles. As for me, it's like puzzle pieces. And I need to figure out what goes together. So sometimes I'll say things and they might not be true. But I'll, as I go deeper in, I'll correct myself or I'll say, you know, maybe that's not the case. Maybe I was wrong what I said earlier. Because it, to me, it's like puzzle pieces here and here and here, here. And I need to figure out what goes together. So this happened, this crime happened because somebody walked away or he wanted to walk away from something. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure. But you know what? I can pull up another card and let's see if I can get a little bit more information. What is it that he was walking away? Or what did he walk away from? It's Eight of Cups. Please, Spirit, Angel, Guides, clarify. Eight of Cups. Oh! This card wants... This card keeps... Whoa! This card keeps flying everywhere. He walked away from this person. I don't know who this energy is. But I'm going to put it back in there because this is not the card that I was supposed to pull out. But it kept flying out. Eight of Cups. Please clarify. Eight of Cups. Spirit Angel Guides. Please clarify. Eight of Cups. Please clarify the outcomes. One, two, and three. Two of Wands. He had a choice. There was a choice that was needed to make, two paths, two opportunities. And they chose, they chose the wrong one. This is like, to me, this is saying, look, you can do it this way, you can do it that way. And you better choose the right way. And if you don't, there are going to be consequences. That is what this is telling me. Okay. Okay, let's see. What else can we pull? The Seven of Pentacles. What's... What, can you tell me what's coming into fruition? What was being planned to come to fruition? Seven of Pentacles. Please clarify Seven of Pentacles. Please clarify Seven of Pentacles. Please clarify Seven of Pentacles. One, two, and three. A choice. This is a choice he had to make. Here we go. We're getting duality here. Two, two. There was two choices that he had to make. Two paths, two opportunities, two ways. This was a very important choice that he had to make and he chose wrong. Missed opportunity. Oof. Uh, 
let's clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Three. One. Two. And three. Thank you, Spirit Angel Guides, for clarifying the Ten of Cups. This guy keeps coming up. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Things not working out. There was no teamwork. Failure to cooperate. Yeah. Somebody wasn't cooperating. Could have been the father, I'm not sure. Someone wasn't cooperating the way they were supposed to. So I'm gonna break your I'm gonna break your home. This is a broken home. Should I do these two? Should I do the Knight of Wands? Hmm. Okay. Let me let me let me go to the Knight of Wands real quick. Please clarify the Knight of Wands. Please clarify the Knight of Wands. Please clarify the Knight of Wands. One, two, three. Oh, <clears throat> the Queen of Wands. Here we have a woman energy coming into play. Who is, who is this energy? Who is she? And you know something, as I was shuffling, to me, this is a message. Page of Wands is a message. The Knight of Wands is acting out the message. And it's come, it's gonna come to fruition. You have a message, like an order. It's being delivered. It's it's gonna right. They're coming in to take action. They're gonna to come to fruition. I don't know who this female is and what she plays in a role with, but I got the hermit, I mean the hermit, the hierophant came up next. This is like marriage tradition. So I don't know if I don't know if he's married or he's in a, a relationship connection. And it has some, could have been something that, that could feel this, like,
Eight of Swords, please. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Please 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 clarify. The Here we go. Here we go with the duality again. There we go. There we go. There we go. Two. Two, two, two. This is juggling between two things. Whatever was keeping him trapped was because he was juggling two things. Not of its life, death, choices, decisions. But he was juggling two things. What was he juggling? And I don't know, I don't know why this came up. Could he be a player? I'm just putting it out there. I don't know. This is fire energy. And I don't know. It just seems like the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's like the Knight wants to talk to the Queen, or she, he's going to the Queen, but she ain't having it. I don't know. I feel like this is something else. <laughs> Okay, what is up with these two choices, or two decisions, or two paths, or juggling between two things, or, oh my god. Two of pentacles, two of pentacles, can we clarify the two of pentacles? Please, spirit angel guides, clarify the two of pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles. One, two, three. Again. Okay. I don't know. Seems like he was trying to get away from something. Seems like he was trying to get away from something. Run away from something. I'm not a hundred percent sure. What is the two? Why is there two, two, two? Uh, something that he couldn't change. Right? He couldn't run away from this situation. Something he couldn't run away from. Alright, I'm going to pull um, the cards from my Oracle True Crime deck that I created. And let's see what we can get about this case. For Cody, Spirit Angel Guides. What happened to Cody? Lost and found. Far away.
cyber bully. Alive. Center of the reading. Hitman. Being targeted. This is confirmation to me that he's still alive. Oh yeah. This man was targeting this child. I was targeting. This was no accident. Some trafficking. That's just being taken. Taken away against your will. Sexual assault. There goes the sexual abuse, sexual assault. I mentioned this. And ran away. This man ran away. Yeah. Next one was going to be cover up. So, there you go. Okay. So we have lost and found, not knowing where you're going. Right, this, this could be Cody's energy, not knowing where he's going, what he's doing, he's lost, he needs to be found, right? Far away, could be confirmation that he's not close by as Maybe they think he is, or I'm not sure. But he could be far away. Cyberbully lets me know that there was communication online. Could have been receiving, receiving um, threatening texts online. Could, it could also be bullying. Just in general, not having anything to do with online, just being bullied, being threatened. There's a male involved. Who is this male? Who is this male? But this male planned, planned the runaway, planned to kidnap, right? Because this is a kidnap. A four-year-old could have done it online. This man wanted to run away to, could possibly have done sexual assault. Hitman, he was targeted. This child was targeted. A hitman is someone who is sent out to do the crime. Someone paid them, someone told them, someone hired them, someone ordered them to hurt, to commit a crime. This is a target. This child could possibly be alive. There's a good chance he's still alive. Human trafficking is just a child that is taken away against their will. Could be because they want to commit sexual assault. Could be that maybe possibly took this child and then put them in, in, you know, to do human trafficking, right? Okay, I'm gonna pull one more time. and see if I can get anything else. Let's 
Spirit Angel Guides. What happened to Cody? Spirit Angel Guides, what happened to Cody? Cover up, came up. What happened to Cody? One, two, and three. Okay. Alive. This child is still alive. Male. Here we go. A male involved. Buried. Something is buried. It could be evidence, clues. Something is buried. Hidden evidence. Something is buried and still not found. Water, a lot of emotion involved. All right, could be anger, poisoned. They could have poisoned the child, All right? Center of the reading. Something was poisoned. A stranger, yeah. Shopping. Shopping could be somebody was looking for something. Could be shopping, could be by shopping center. Right? The child could be located near a shopping center. Run away again. Could have poisoned the child. And then we have a female. Hmm. Who is this female? Could, be, could, could a female be involved as well? More than one person involved. We have a male and a female now. This female is a stranger. Okay. All right, that is the end of this reading. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate. If you like these kind of readings, please let me know if you want me to do a, a, a case. Um, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think happened to Cody and hopefully we can bring him home, alive, safe home. And Thank you for watching, right? Please like, share, and subscribe. Love, Queen of Wands.